All right, so this is the fourth video for the uh, affordable house project. And in this video, we are going to be uh, updating our floor plan to include casework, which is basically your cabinetry, your kitchen cabinets, uh, anything for the bathroom, fixtures. Um, so things like washer dryer or your major appliances, washer dryer, hot water heater, uh, refrigerator, things like that. Um, plumbing, so again, like anything like sinks, but then in the bathroom, you got showers, toilets, sinks. Um, and then the optional portion is the furniture to make sure that you can lay out your, uh, your place appropriately with sizing and everything. All right, so go to the first floor floor plan. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'll do casework for it first. So again, this is cabinetry, your upper and lower cabinets. So you go to component, load family, uh, US Imperial casework. So we're gonna start with base cabinets, that's your floor cabinets, okay? Um, so here's the different types, depends on what you want. Um, you know, uh, I typically start in the corners um, and then go from there. So I'm going to, um, and then, okay, by the way, also in case you're not familiar, vanity is what you use in a bathroom. And then the cabinets, these are the kitchen cabinets. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the, the corner here of my, um, of my uh, house right here. And you hit the space bar to kind of move it around. All right, so there's one, not really a room for another, hit escape. So you can go to 3D view and start taking a look at this. So zoom around. And then, so there's kind of the start of what it will start looking like for you. Um, so go back to first floor floor plan. And let's keep on going. So um, I'm gonna have a cabinet, a stove and another cabinet here. So casework, or sorry, component, load family, uh not sure i might have enough room to put in one of these doubles uh you have different sizes available so the smallest is a 30 inch up to 48 inch if i have enough room for that so yeah it looks like oh and when you place it you're placing it at the back end so um there we go haven't should have enough room for a stove in the middle there uh might even have enough room to do a larger one let's see about a 36 inch might, should have enough room for us over there in the middle. And then over here, we're gonna do, um, okay, that's not enough room. So a 30 inch. We're gonna do the sink. So I need to change the casework here. Um, the sink unit right here. I want a wider sink unit here, do a 36 inch sink unit. I'm gonna line that up with the center of the window. And then another one of these two drawer. Oh, now I'm gonna do a single drawer, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna do the drawers actually, and the thinnest one possible, 18 inch. Um, so I want my uh, my uh, dishwasher right here. If things don't line up the way this one doesn't, you could either change the size, so I could change this to maybe a 33 inch. Uh, it still doesn't line up perfectly. So if you click on it, and then you can click the align button. So you click on what you're gonna align um, it to first, and then what you align there. All right, so let's go to 3D view. So I don't have any kind of um, cab uh, countertops in yet, but kind of have the basics. Oh, I need a, a cabinet right here, I almost forgot. So go to first floor floor plan. Um, architecture component, base cabinet. Yeah, the four drawers, uh, 18 inch. Should have enough room right here. So I'm just gonna put it randomly in space and then I'm gonna click on it 
put a line to the back wall first and the back of the cabinet there and there. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna put my refrigerator here, dishwasher, sink, um, stove. Okay, so let's get that stuff in. Component, load family. Um, so we go to um, specialty equipment, domestic, mid-range, and you know you can have your whatever refrigerator you prefer you can also go to um if you want to go high end you can do that too um with it being an affordable house i'll go to mid-range so here's a refrigerator so i'm just going to put this here for now we'll move it later uh, let's see, uh, component, load family, electric stove, Let me put that right here. And then a dishwasher component, dishwasher, put that right here. And since I'm already in that same folder component, we can do the uh, dryer. Here's my washer dryer closet. Put the dryer there and let's load the washer. And then let's uh, back these things up a little bit. So click on it. Um, use arrows to kind of back it up a little bit. Okay. With my washer dryer, let's align my dishwasher. So click on the dishwasher, click the align button, back of the wall here and there, and then side there, same thing. Okay, and same thing here. Let's align the range. So there and there, and then the cabinet. I might have room for a little bigger of a cabinet. We could possibly do a 42 inch cabinet there. Um, let's move that over and then align. Right there. Okay, uh, all right. So now it's time for countertops. So, Component, load family, go up. This button will go up in some uh, folders, go back to casework, uh, countertops. So countertop with a sinkhole. I don't want that one for this area here. And then um, L-shaped with the kind of corner piece here. And we want that for here. And then just a regular old countertop for this section. All right, so I'm gonna want all three of them. This one, countertop, and that one, L-shaped two. Open. All right, so this one first, hit uh, rotate button, escape, click on it, align. So this back edge to here, this back edge to here. And now I need to resize it because it's way too uh, big. So um, I need to just kind of back that up and then use the align tool and then use that arrow, back that up and then use the align tool. Okay, so now if I go to 3D view, I've got a countertop on top of that. Goes up to the sink. And then I'll put a countertop here and a countertop here. The countertop can go over the dishwasher, the countertop top cannot go over the stove. All right. So let's go back to architecture component, 
this is the one with a sink. So I'll put that there. All right, click on it, drag this over so it lines up there. Um, actually, I just need to drag the whole thing over. Line it up about there, actually. So back and here I should use the arrows to drag it in. All right. Um, sinkhole didn't line up where I wanted it to. Back a little over. Hopefully I didn't mess that up too bad. Well, um, you know what? Let's do, delete that out. Let's try that again. Um, because I think I may have messed up the size of the sink. So let's try this again. Architecture component. All right, uh, I'm gonna line it up visually so that the sink is in the middle of the window. And now I'm going to resize the cabinet itself. Or the, the countertop. All right, so that's where I want it to go. And now one more cabinet, or sorry, a countertop component, just the countertop. There we go. I don't want to way too far back. Uh, it's better just to use hit spacebar, flip it around. All right, now use the align command. So click on it, align to the back wall, to the back of the countertop, um, that edge and that edge, and this edge and this edge. All right, let's go to 3D view. Okay, now let's put in my sink. Let's put my sink in right there. architecture component, oops, uh, first floor plan. And we're gonna go to component, load family, uh, US Imperial, specialty equipment, domestic, mid range. All right, so I forgot exactly where this is. I believe it's in plumbing. Architectural fixtures, sinks, right here, a sink single. This is the one I like personally. Uh, you can use whichever one you like. For, um, it's up to you. I prefer this single one. And hopefully, yep, if you didn't mess around with the size of the sinkhole, it should just line up right away. Okay. And it should auto set to the right height and depth and everything. This is what I'm trying to point out is that this is why uh, back when we did the windows, this window wouldn't be high enough, whereas this window is like too high. So I can actually swap this window out. Um, so if I click on this window, I could try to make it uh, a bigger window and just swap that real quick. And let's see, is it going to auto update? 38 by... That, did that update? Maybe the four inches didn't really show up. Single hung. Yeah, okay, so it did actually update. Uh, oh, that's what happened. So remember, it needs to be, the head height is eight foot two. So let's change it to that. So it got a little taller. And then let's rem recall, this is gonna be eight foot two inches. All right, so I could still actually get a bigger window in there. So if I um, load family, oops, I apologize, nope. So um, architecture component, let's go back, load family. Oops, not component, architecture window, load family. Up, 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 up. Windows, uh, it's the single hung. Single hung, okay. Um, currently I have 38 by 32, 36, I'm not sure exactly. I'm just gonna load these three, the 42, 46, 52. Say okay. So let's try it out. Let's see if I put in the 46. And then I reset the 
head height to be number eight foot two, eight face two. All right, I think I might be able to go even bigger. Um, we'll see if a 52 will work. And then eight two. Okay, that's probably about as big as I can get it. Uh, the whole point is to get the biggest window possible, but it has to, still has to be above the countertop. So perfect, we'll leave it like that. Um, now it is time for uh, upper cabinets and uh, the uh, microwave, right? So like for a vent. So let's see. Um, Floor floor plan, um, component, load family, US Imperial, specialty equipment, domestic, mid range, uh, microwave oven. So this one's always kind of a pain. Uh, I'll tell you why. So I'm going to rotate it around. It's going to sit on top of the range. But I'm going to put it out here in the middle of the floor, the floor space right now, because whenever I do this, see how it sits on the floor? Um, so it's got to sit up like where the cabinets are. So I um, just want to do that first, make sure I have it there. And now let's do the upper cabinets. So go back to the first floor plan. And you want to put um, the same kind of cabinets, or the upper cabinets, same height or length cabinets as you do here. So I'm going to put in a 42 inch cabinet here, um, 30 inch. So what I mean, let's go to component. Oops. Component, load family, up, 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 casework, uh, wall cabinets, upper cabinet. Uh, so there's the corner, I want that. Uh, walls with door. So this and Let's see. Yep, that and this. Say open. All right, so remember the 42 inch goes back here. Um, I believe, yeah, this one was 42 inch. Uh, I'm gonna just offset it. And then this one, if I remember correctly, it's a bit of, make sure I select that, a 30 inch. So component, change it to a 30 inch. Put that one. Notice you have, you have to have it up against the wall in order to do it. Um, and then the upper, so that's this one here. All right, so let's align this one. So align, it's already on that back wall. So here to here. Um, this one can actually be swapped out for a larger one because that's going to this corner cabinet. So this one might actually be able to go up to like a 42. And let's see how it looks once I align it. Align here and here. And lines up perfectly, good. Um, align this one. So align here and here. So let's go to 3D view. Okay, and now I've got my opening space for my uh, microwave. And the thing is you wanna Click on one of these cabinets, you see elevation from level, so four foot six. So you want the same elevation here. You want four foot six. Hit apply. And now it's it, it's not gonna get kind of caught underneath or inside of the, the oven. So go back to foot first floor. And now it's the problem though is it's kind of it's you're not gonna be able to see it anymore. So you might need to go to the roof, I think think and now you can see it there but it's all grayed out um, let's hide the you can hide this the, the roof here hide and view element mm, no okay so this is going to be annoying so let's maybe do this in uh, 3d view so you can click on it click align click on that back wall click on that back edge okay and it's pretty much uh, done side to side you can just use your arrow keys maybe, click on it, use arrow keys to make it shift back and forth if you want to. Um, you can put in a, a cabinet above it. A lot of kitchens have cabinets above, a small cabinet above if you want to. Um, let's see. 
if I go to first floor and then I go to architecture components, low family. Um, trying to see if there is, no, I don't, it's not preloaded, the, um, the little tiny cabinets. So that's up to you if you want to. All right, so now I need to put in cabinets here. So uh, component, upper cabinet, uh, can't remember what the sizes were. I think that might be a 30 inch, let's try. Okay, so I can use a bigger one there. Just place a 31, 30 inch for now. That one I can probably use Looks like maybe a 36, probably bigger, 39. Yeah, 39 looks pretty good. Keeping in mind the window trim. And this one could probably be uh, 33. Mm, a little too big. So let's move that one back to a 30. And I'm gonna line this one up. So click on it, align that edge and that edge. And then align this edge and this edge. Let's go back to 3D view, see how it looks. All right, seems to look just fine. Oh, so I have space here for an upper cabinet as well. First floor, um, architecture component. So the 39 is too big, let's go down to a 33. Let's try a 30. 30 seems like it'll do just fine. Just place it there, click on it, align there and there. Perfect. Okay. So now we have cabinetry. So again, um, might be able to go somewhere and, and like download this small one. I just don't have it auto loaded, uh, but there's a decent layout for a kitchen. All right, uh, again, the, the fridge kind of lands outside the kitchen technically in the dining room area, but um, otherwise I would lose a lot of cabinet space if I put it in there. Um, let's see, I've got my washer dryer. They're right there. Other things I need to do are the bathrooms now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with bathrooms. All right, so now we're putting in the plumbing fixtures. So um, my bathrooms, I have one located here. We're gonna have the um, so the, the first floor plan. Uh, so it's gonna have like a tub here, toilet, sink, and vanity, and then this is a half bath where the a toilet and a sink. All right. So um, you go to components, load family. We're gonna to go to plumbing, architectural uh, equipment. Nope. That's, oh, actually, we're going to do that right now. Water heater. Um, I can put that right here because that's my water heater, the utility closet. Uh, again, load family. Fixtures. Um, we are looking for water. No. Um, showers. Nope. 2D stall. That's the wrong one. So I might be in the wrong place. MEP fixtures. Not water closet, that's a toilet. Um, showers, shower stall. Hmm, I'm not quite looking in the right area here, apparently. Uh, if I go to, try this one more time. Plumbing, MEP, fixtures, nope. Let's try specialty equipment, domestic, this is mostly, let's see. This is mostly kitchen stuff. I'm trying to remember where the, um, where this stuff is. Um, let's try one more time. So let's go back to plumbing. Let's see, case where it comes, conduit, electrical, mass mechanical profile railing school, 
site. Yeah, plumbing. Let's try MEP fixtures, bathtubs. There we go. Um, that's what we're going to try. Bathtub right there. And there's different sizes. So uh, private, let's see if a 60 inch will fit. Yep, just, just barely. So All right, and oops. Okay, accident. All right, click on that, align to outside edge there. And I turned it around so all this whole, um, uh, sorry, th this whole wall is where my plumbing is going to be. And what I just realized is I haven't changed this into a plumbing wall, so I need to do that. So this should not be a four and a half inch. This should be. Um, a two by should be a two by five, which is five and a half with. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to edit the wall type. Um, remember, this is my interior four and a half inch partition. That's my half inch gypsum wall board, two by four half inch gypsum wall board. So I need to duplicate this and say that this is going to be now six and a half. All right, and this needs to change into a two by five, or sorry, two by six, which is five and a half inches. Okay, um, and I need to realign this. All right, running into the door there, so bring it back a little bit. You can bring this door over a little bit. There we go. So kind of, all right, now I can bring this back. So align here and here. Okay. That just fits. All right. So, so the point is all the plumbing that goes into a plumbing wall, all the drains and everything need a, a larger cavity. So it needs a two by six wall. Um, all right. So now the toilet. So um, go to architecture component, load family. So remember, I'm in uh, plumbing MEP fixtures, and we should be able to find water closets. That's where the toilets are. The flush tank. All right. So here, uh, the idea is um, you need to have 15 inches from the edge of the, uh, at least 15 inches from the edge of the uh, uh, shower to the middle here. Uh, 15 inches is one foot three, which we have. All right, uh, and so it needs to be essentially 30 inches wide for um, the uh, uh, for the total toilet, all right? So now we're gonna put in the vanity. So I go to component, load family, this one's in a different place. Um, I think let's go back to the casework base cabinets, vanity, single door. Uh, I might have room for a double door. Let's see, vanity, double door sink unit. Yeah, I should have enough room. Yeah, I definitely have room for that. I could try to go for a slightly larger one. So 30, let's try 36. Might have room for that. Let's see, I'm kind of tight on space here. One foot four, okay, yep, yeah, perfect, plenty of room. So there's my base cabinet. Look at it in 3D view. All right, so now I just need a countertop and a sink to put in there. So let's see, uh, go back. So component, load family, go up to countertops, vanity countertop with round sink or uh, square sink, doesn't matter. You choose, I'm gonna choose square sink. It goes in this corner. All right, so um, I'm going to grab the center. That way, I don't move or change the dimensions of the sink. Put it right in the center there, and then I'm going to move this. Okay, and then I want to actually put in a sink, vanity sink. So, uh, component, load family. Uh, now I need to go back to plumbing. So, US Imperial. Plumbing, MEP, 
fixtures, sinks. Um, let's see. Uh, um, kitchen. Nope. Nope. Try architectural fixtures, sinks, van vanity square. Okay, there we go. All right, and of course it doesn't quite line up. I don't pretend to know why, um, but if I drag that in there, drag that in there, drag that in there, drag that in there, then it pretty much matches up. All right, so there we have it. And remember this is like a closet with shelving. We can put in shelving later possibly if you want to. All right, and now we're going to put in a, a sink and a toilet here. So we've already got all that stuff loaded. Let's go find the, the toilet first. Where did I put that? Uh, water closet. Private. All right, uh, let's try that again. Uh, component. Water closet private. indicates to me that this wall, not the entire wall, but just this wall alone needs to be a uh, two by six wall. So I need to cut these walls. Um, so if you realize you made that mistake, like I did, what you can do is you can cut. All right. So did that work? No, let's try it again. So I select it. And then what I want to do is I want to split the element. I want to split it here and I want to split it here. Let's try this again. All right, so maybe I'm not using it correctly. So uh, let's try it one more time here and here. Oh, so you see I did the wrong thing. So now I cut it the right way. Um, let me just hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So I had split these walls by accident. I want to split this wall. So the, what I do is I select the wall and I use this. And when I do it, I make sure that this wall here is what's highlighted. I choose um, the center mark of that one to the center mark of that one. And then I can now click on the wall and swap it out for the six and a half partition. And then I select it and I align this face with this face. Now, no one could tell, no one would be able to tell. All right, uh, and then I just need to fix this one little thing from this face to this face. All right, so now if you were in this hallway, you wouldn't be able to tell that um, there's two separate wall types there. You just look at one continuous straight wall, uh, but here there's plumbing wall, right? So it needs to line up correctly. Let's align there and there, okay. Um, now I need to put in the vanity. So architecture component, vanity cabinet, 24 inch. So I can do more than 24. Let's swap it for, try 36. So I have room for 36. Doesn't seem so. So we're gonna do a 33. Okay, so there's a 33 inch vanity. That should fit. Let's put in a countertop. Go to the countertop. Move the sink to the middle and then align that. Go to 3D view, kind of check things out. All right, and then we are going to 
go back here and let's put in the sync again. So we go to architecture component. Let's see, where's my sync? Sync vanity square. All right, that lines up. Again, if you want to, you can make the sink hole line up with the actual dimensions of the sink. Okay. All right, so we have our plumbing fixtures now. So we have the sink here um, for the kitchen. We have the dishwasher. That's the stuff that requires uh, plumbing in the kitchen. We have a sink and a toilet, a sink, toilet, and shower. We have washer, dryer, hot water heater. All those things require plumbing, all right? Um, and that, let's see, let's just double check. Casework, plumbing, okay, furniture. So next is furniture. Um, and so with furniture, this is pretty much optional, but it just gives you an idea of if your rooms are appropriately sized. So go to component, go to family, uh, go back to the main folder, the US Imperial, and there is an entire folder for furniture. Uh, so beds, just do like a standard type bed. And it gives you the double king, queen, twin. So if it's a master bedroom, see if it's big enough to fit a, a king. Um, eh, it's a bit big, so let's, let's go down to the queen size. That'll fit better. Uh, let's turn it this way. So that way we can have a dresser on both sides. And then for like the smaller room, let's do double beds. One there, one there. All right, so that's good for beds. Um, load family. Tables, uh, let's see, a desk. Yep, do a coffee table. Um, end table, nightstand. Let's see how those work so far. Um, some of them apparently might have already been in here. So let's see, end table, I want to do a nightstand. Table nightstand, let's see if this size fits. So one here, one here, one for each of these beds. For the, the kids rooms, essentially, let's put in a desk. It's always good to have a desk so kids can do their homework. Uh, let's see. All right, and let's see how this is looking so far. Good, oh, that desk is in backwards. So hit space bar. And I should probably line that up there. Uh, both these bedrooms right next to the desk has room for a dresser. So let's add that component of family. Uh, storage, you're going to find a dresser. So let's see what different sizes of dressers. Let's do the smaller one. 60 inch dresser. Mm, it's a little small, not going to quite fit there. Um, so that's kind of where you have to realize like um, you have to make a decision. Either you can maybe try to find a smaller desk or um, not have a desk and put in a dresser. So component, dresser, maybe you'd rather have a dresser than a desk. Depends on the kid, the person, you know. Um, that's a little, okay, there we go. Now, look at 3D view. Oh, put it backwards again. Uh, put a, I'll put a dresser in for the, um, the master. So go back to floor plan. Component. Uh, 
I'll go to the larger dresser. It's a very long dresser. That's kind of large. Okay, let's do it this way. And let's go back to 3D view, see how this is working. Again, I'll put it in backwards in front of a window. So let's move it away from the window. All right. So the bedrooms are furnished now. Um, go back here. So if we go back, also the closets, by the way, uh, shelving, we put in that. Can't remember. Um, so you can also put in an entertainment center or a credenza. A credenza is kind of like a TV stand. Um, I'll load that. I'm going to put that in, let's see, right here. That's where I'm going to have the TV somewhere along here. I keep on going to 3D view just to make sure I put it in the right way. Yep, I did. Uh, let's put in some seating. So sofa, depends on what kind of sofa you want. You can also put it in 3D view, by the way. You don't have to always be in floor plan mode. Put that one here. That just makes life easier for me personally if I do it this way. Um, So you can use different size um, sofa. It's kind of a small one. So if I oh, that one I think allows for yeah you know, different sizes. So the eighty-four inch. All right, and then use the smaller one here. Oops. Keep this the larger one. And then the smaller one, and then it's a component. Let's swap it out for the app. Okay. And then we can put in like a side table. So the component. Uh, where's the tables? An end table. Let's see if that will fit there. Yeah, about. So I move this. And it's getting really close to that door. Let's make the side table a little smaller. Okay, and that way we have plenty of room. I'm not going to get in the way of the door. Let's put the TV in. So a component, load family. TV flat screen. It's right there. But you'll notice that when I put it in, it does not show up. So you gotta figure out why that is. Um, and it's because it's on the floor. So uh, this thing is 24 inches high. So where are we? The height of it is and type uh, height two and a half feet, so two feet six inches. So this needs to be uh, two feet six inches off the ground. Apply and then move this back. And now you'll see that the TV is sitting on top of the table. You can see that in 3D again. All right. Um, oh, didn't realize I could make it a much bigger TV. All right. There we go. Um, let's put in some uh, dining room. Oh, that's my, my floor or my room divider. I don't need that. Hide in view category. I want all those to not show up. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's put in my dining room. That would be pretty much furnished. Um, component. Whoops. Component. Low family. No, I already think I think I well, let's see tables, um, dining. Mm. Let's do that one. Like this one. All right. There we 
we have it. And let's put in some chairs. Let's go back to seating. Oh, desk chair, want that. And then this might have it. So let's do a desk chair and that chair. All right, so here's the, the dining room chair. Um, got plenty of seating around this table Not for six people, maybe even more. And then I need to put in a desk chair since I had a desk, I think I still have a desk right here. All right. Um, the last thing that I can think of uh, is to put in the closets. Um, so like the shelving for the closets. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in um, shelving in the closets. So here's the hallway closet, bedroom closet, and a pantry. All right, so uh, you go to component, load family, uh, just, in case you missed where I got it, um, you go to US Imperial. Um, it is casework, shelving, closet, shelf, and pole. All right, and then um, something that I had to realize was a lot of times it's um, saying place on face. It might be the default, but you need to place on work plane. So make sure you click the option and place on work plane. And then uh, you click the back edge of the closet to this back corner. And there you go. And so then from this back corner to this back corner, this back corner to this, here to here, and then the last one I'm gonna do in the pantry. Oh, and I have a linen closet that's gonna need it too. Oops. Uh, if it's backwards, hit space bar, that'll again, rotate it. Go to 3D view. Um, you can see these are now in the closets. If you want to see it slightly better, um, one thing you can do is drag your view cube or um, your crop region back a little ways, a little bit further. There you go. Bring it out and see. There it is. I want to see into the closet a little bit. So um, there we have it. And the last thing you need to do is for this project, you need to submit an updated um, floor plan. So again, uh, nothing new to do here. All the stuff should just automatically show up. So nothing, you know, you don't like update the sheet uh, per se, just uh, submit an updated copy of the sheet. All right, so any questions, let your teacher know.